morning everyone. So it is a beautiful day here on Cape Cod and I thought what better day to go check out some gorgeous Upper Cape trails that you can check out this season if you're looking to do some leaf peeping or if you're just looking to go on a really nice fall walk. So without further ado, let's go. So I started off my morning at the Wakoit Bay National Estuarine in East Falmouth. This location is kind of a hidden gem in the off season because from the road on Route 28, you would really have no idea that the reserve offers a whole trail system with water views. This estuary reserve state park features trails and over 2,700 acres of barrier beaches and marshlands. I was one of two cars here on this day, so it's very quiet and peaceful in the off season. Aside from the beautiful trailways that had me walking along marshes and a small pond, the research reserve itself is in a gorgeous old building and there are some picnic tables available as well. There was even a, re a recreation of a traditional Native American wigwam overlooking the bay outside the reserve visitor center, honoring the land that was once a prehistoric Native American settlement. We're not quite at peak foliage here on the Cape, but these trails are a great spot to catch some colors as we get into late October. Next, I headed over to South Cape Beach State Park in Mashpee, which is actually encompassed by the Wakoit Bay National Estuarine. Normally, there would be a parking fee here, however, there is no charge to park in the off-season, and just like my last stop, it was so quiet on the Tuesday morning of my visit. The state park features the best of both worlds if you're wanting to walk woodsy trails as well as along a white sandy beach. The park has one mile of beach and over 460 acres of land with lots of well-trodden trail systems. South Cape Beach State Park is located between Wakoit Bay and Vineyard Sound, so you get some picturesque views of Martha's Vineyard from across the water. I really enjoyed the trails at this location and chose to walk the Great Flat Pond Trail, which brought me to a beautiful marsh overview and viewing deck. I saw some great foliage color the deeper I got into the trail, and I bet in a few weeks this color will only get better. My third stop of the day was at Lowell Holly Reservation in Mashpee, which is a 135 acre nature reserve in both Mashpee and Sandwich. Lowell Holly Reservation Trail is a 2.4 mile moderately trafficked loop trail that features a lake and is good for all skill levels. The path is wide and shaded and there is really nothing more satisfying than the crunch of fall leaves beneath your feet. Watch for the exposed roots on this trail and be sure to wear sturdy shoes but the upside of these roots are the views of the old growth pines and American beech trees that they connect to in all of their autumn colors. My last stop of the day was to Shami Lake off of Route 6A in Sandwich. The 6A side of Shami Lake is home to the Hoxie House, which is one of the oldest houses on Cape Cod and is now a museum. There is a nice picnic area and a beautiful water view, and as you'll see, I was having a good time watching the swans. Across the lake is Shami Crowell State Forest, which offers more than 15 miles of trails for hiking and even horseback riding. I didn't make it to the other side of the lake on this day, but really you can walk anywhere along Main Street to catch some beautiful foliage views with beautiful historic homes being the bonus. time today checking out some Upper Cape trails with you all and I had a blast getting out there and enjoying nature and doing a little leaf peeping and I hope that you all make some time to do the same thing this season so get out there and enjoy this beautiful Cape Cod weather and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!